Gaming controllers have evolved over different shapes and forms within the past few decades, and it has truly become an extension of the soul for a lot of gamers. But while technology has progressed, there's arguably one area that we have taken a few steps back from, and that's the thumbsticks. About a year and a half ago, Sony released this DualSense Edge controller, which was supposed to solve the stick drift issues by making the thumbsticks removable themselves. I was so excited when they offered this solution that I pre-ordered my DualSense Edge controller immediately. Now on paper, this sounded like a good deal, right? All you had to do was remove the thumbstick module, buy a new one, and pop it right back in. Problem solved, right? But in reality, this solution became highly questionable because the thumbsticks themselves are always out of stock. Like, why Sony? What are you doing here? So let me get this straight. Sony makes a controller whose main feature is you can swap out the thumbstick modules, but those modules are out of stock pretty much all the time. Like, make it make sense, please. Now let's talk about why this is a step backwards instead of a step forward when it comes to thumbstick controller technology. And I'm talking about Hall Effect thumbsticks. Hall Effect thumbsticks are considered to be the much more reliable option because they don't suffer the same wear and tear that leads to stick drift like the normal thumbsticks do. Because instead of using springs to calculate your distance from the center, it actually uses magnets. But here's the frustrating part. It's actually really hard to find a controller in stores that has Hall Effect thumbsticks built in. Major companies that sell pro controllers like Microsoft, Sony, Scuf, and Battle Beaver all do not offer options with Hall Effect thumbsticks. And it's not like Hall Effect technology is really new. It's been around since the Sega Dreamcast. And I don't know about you, but I played the hell out of Power Stone 2. I'm talking about hours and hours and hours a day. And that controller felt great to me. I'd never had any issues with the Dreamcast controller. But if you're looking for a pro controller that has Hall Effect thumbsticks, your options are pretty limited here. The only pro controllers that I know have a Hall Effect thumbstick option are the Hex Gaming Phantom and the Vitrix Pro BFG. Personally, my daily controller has been this Hex Gaming Phantom, and I like it a lot so far. I made a video on it already. I'll make sure to leave a link to this in the description if you are interested in getting one. But the version that they sent me doesn't come with Hall Effect thumbsticks, but they do have a version online on their website that you can buy with Hall Effect thumbsticks. As for the Vitrix Pro BFG controller, they do offer additional modules that you can buy with Hall Effect thumbsticks, and it costs $40. And it might be the controller that I try next because I'm still on the hunt to find the perfect pro controller for my gaming setup. So why isn't Sony using Hall Effect thumbsticks? Well, the answer probably comes down to money, right? Sony can make way more money selling you a controller that wears out over weeks or months, forcing you to buy a new one rather than making a controller in the first place that will last you years using Hall Effect thumbsticks. So if Sony won't make Hall Effect thumbsticks for the PS5 controller, well, maybe someone else will, right? And here comes Wheelie Kit, a company known for making mods in their own controllers, specifically using Hall Effect thumbsticks. Now, about a year ago, Wheelie Kit promised to actually make a Hall Effect module for the PS5 DualSense S controller, but it's been over a year now and we haven't heard anything since. What's up, y'all? It's Future Sheet here, and I just wanted to give a quick update slash correction because there was actually an article released earlier this summer on The Verge stating that the director of Wheelie Kit actually says that the reason that they don't make the PS5 module Hall Effect for the DualSense S controller or for the Xbox controller is because neither Sony nor Xbox actually offer a collaboration tool for their controller. So yeah, just thought I would give that quick update so that I give you the most accurate information. So back to the video. So what happened? Well, there are rumors out there that maybe Sony issued a cease and desist order to Gwili Kit to stop making that third party module for the Hall Effect thumbsticks for this controller. And honestly, if this were true, it would just be more disappointing on Sony's end. Like sure, Sony wants to make more money and controllers are probably very lucrative for them considering that their consoles sell at a loss, but is it really worth damaging the reputation of your company? In the long run, if this trend continues, I see more and more gamers like you and myself looking for alternatives rather than sticking to Sony controllers. But honestly, it just might be time for me to learn how to solder and DIY slash mod my own PS5 controller because options are looking dim at this point. And if you want to see me, someone who has no clue how to solder, mod and DIY their own PS5 controller with Hall Effect thumbsticks, well, consider giving this video a like and subscribe. And if I get enough feedback, I'll make sure to make this a priority because that video should actually be pretty fun. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to highlight some of the issues going on with game controllers and their seemingly avoidance of Hall Effect thumbsticks like the PS5 DualSense Edge 
And even though I really like this controller, I can't recommend it because you just can't find the thumbsticks nowadays. Hopefully this gives you some insight the next time you're buying a new game controller so you can make the best decision based on your situation. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you and I'll see you next time.